Hey guys, it's Angelica. Today I will be telling you my DNA results from 23andMe. I actually did another DNA results video from Ancestry DNA back in 2019. If you guys want to check it out, I will put the link in the description. 23andMe sent me a DNA kit test thingy in the mail. Came with instructions. This is what the tube looks like. Step one is to register your kit online. Step two, no food or drink for 30 minutes. Step three is fill to line. You basically spit your saliva up to the line. Step four is close funnel lid. Step five is screw on cap. Step six, seal and bag. Step seven, ship and box. Step eight, let the discovery begin. So, I received my results, my DNA results. They emailed me. It took a little over three weeks to get my results back. I have my computer here and I am going to see what my results are. I will put my results on the screen somewhere. It says I am 98.4 East Asian and Indigenous American. It says I am 98.4% Filipino, which I figured already. It says I am 1.6% European, I am 0.8% Ashkenazi. Jewish. I am not sure if I'm saying that right. And then it says I am 0.8% Spanish and Portuguese. That's pretty cool. There's like a whole ancestry timeline. So it says that I got my uh, Spanish and Portuguese and Jewish from 1850 through 1730. So around that time. For Filipino, it says you most likely had a parent or grandparent who was 100% Filipino. This person was likely born between 1940 and 1970, and that is true. I mean, both of my parents are full Filipino, so it's interesting to see that. I have some European in me, but for the most part, I'm Filipino. <laughs> I didn't know that it'll tell me my traits on here, so it says that my earlobe type is 90% chance you have detached earlobes, which is true. I do have detached earlobes. Finger length ratio, 56% chance your ring finger is longer than your index finger. Oh, that's true. 54% <laughs> chance of having straight hair, which I do. Light or dark hair, 67% chance of having dark brown hair. I would say my hair is like black. <laughs> it says for red hair, I have 99% chance you do not have red hair. <laughs> that is so funny. Chance you have a little bit of a unibrow. I mean, I grow some hairs here and there. Chink dimples, 56% chance you do not have dimples. Do I have dimples, guys? Let me know in the comments down below if you think I have dimples. <laughs> I don't know, I think this is a dimple, I'm not sure. But it's mostly like here. So let me know. Asparagus odor detection, likely can smell. I can smell asparagus. Bitter taste, likely can taste. I do taste some better stuff. Cilantro taste aversion, slightly higher odds of disliking cilantro. I mean, I don't eat cilantro. I wouldn't mind eating it, but I'd rather not. So maybe they're right. Ice cream flavor preference? How do they know that? About a 50-50 chance of preferring vanilla or chocolate ice cream. I definitely prefer chocolate ice cream chocolate all the way sweet or salty they said that i likely prefer salty foods mm, i would say 50 50 on that i like both oh it says something about motion sickness it says more likely to experience motion sickness and that is correct i do get motion sickness wake up time likely <laughs> to wake up around 8 55 a.m that's so specific flat feet more likely than average to have flat feet. I don't think I have flat feet. Fear of heights, less likely than average to be afraid of heights. That's true, I do like heights. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I post, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.